And sort of a follow-up question on some of your guys' answers. Do you, going around the table, do you consider yourself a feminist? Starting with you, go ahead. I feel like that word has been so misconstrued. For example, uh -huh. like, feminism has given rights to even, like, men who have had SA in the past and they're able to speak up on it now or... Femini feminism? Fem feminism... It Same sex sexual? sexual? Uh, it's like, uh, so oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. I mean, we just, for yeah. you too. Oh, you know, I got it. No, I'm just trying yeah. to keep yeah. up with the lingo. <laughs> yeah, so, so men who have experienced that, you know, women at one point weren't able to visit the hospital without their husband and now it's given patient privacy in the sense that... It's Wait, like, women, hold on. Women were not allowed to get it, health care from a hospital. Without their so if they had their male like, counterpart they, they present, had like or a father. limb chopped off back in the farming days or some shit. I'm sure they, they had emergency. Go to a hospital. I'm sure they had emergency, but like in terms of checkups. Th this is a new feminist talking point I've heard that women were barred from getting uh, treated by a doctor in a in a hospital. Without a man, yeah. So I that, think, I think just, it's called patient yeah, I think privacy rights. I just kind rights. of manifested this out of nowhere. Oh, no, I like searched never. it up before I got here. Women so were I'm barred from my... getting uh, medical care. Yes. That's a new feminist talking yes. point. Okay. However, let me finish. Go ahead. Just that one point. Um, I don't believe in a lot of modern feminist ideals. I don't think men are worse than women. I don't think women are better than men, sure. all that stuff. Good so do you, do you consider yourself a feminist? I Honestly, at this point in time, no. Okay. What about you? As a nice, easy answer, yes. Okay. I think I'm just neutral on that topic. <laughs> well, you got it. Okay, you, you kind of didn't want to react to the, the clip there. Uh, you're neutral. Okay, let me ask you a question to perhaps help things along. Uh, do you believe in a patriarchy? That there is a patriarchy? In, into the mic, if you can. Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Did you take any, like... Feminist studies or sociology classes in university? No. Okay. Um, Do you think men run America? No. Okay. Mm. Do you? I don't know. I mean, I guess frame. there's more like men like in positions. I guess there's more men like in position. Okay. And do you think that, that that's a problem? Do you think there should be a movement towards uh, egalitarian? Equal, equal, equalizing it, yeah. Yeah. I think it could go both ways. Like, if a woman wants to step up, then... Sure. Yeah. It's a bit of a non-answer, um, <laughs> but so do you think there ought to be a movement towards egalitarianism and equality in all realms? And do you think the current social order, uh, at least through the feminist standpoint of there's this... Uh, Patriarchy. Do you think we ought to dismantle a patriarchy, if there is one? I mean, I think in the end, like, it could be equal, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what about you? So can we define what you're, what you're using the word feminist? Uh, my understanding was it was that women should have equal access to rights in pursuit of happiness sort of thing, but I, I could be wrong on my definition. Oh, yeah, there's different. There's second and third wave feminism. Yeah, there's there. different. First, second, and third wave. Different, I can define different. it if you want. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so first wave feminism would be like the Equal Rights Amendment. No, going back before that, um, universal suffrage, that women should be able to vote. Second wave feminism was like Gloria Steinman, where she wrote The Feminist Mystique, where she was rather nasty in her writing, saying that women are... Uh, in a prison cell called the home and barefoot and pregnant, but that led to a lot of women in the workforce and a lot of career um, advancement for women for positive or negative. Third wave feminism is that any inequity that we see between men or women is inherently wrong. So that, for example, if you have modeling, uh, women should not earn more than men and men should not earn more than women. Um, you know, that if there's ever, if there's any inequity, third wave feminism is very much as, uh, I forgot your name, I'm sorry. Karina? Karina, you said it's rooted in a hatred of men more than the advancement of women. That's third wave yeah. feminism. Um, second wave feminism is more of a critique that uh, child rearing, nuclear family development, those things are largely negative and that women should be allowed to be liberated beyond that. Um, I'm generalizing, but that's first, second, and third wave feminism. So first wave feminism goes back to 
the passing of um, you know universal suffrage and all that. So I hope that's that's helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I I didn't know the history well enough. Uh, hating men is is wrong and stupid. <laughs> we need them. Uh, if uh, if you know, if you don't like them, we need them. So that's weird. Uh, and then I think it's a shame if anybody. Uh, I'd like a world where people can do what they what they want, and that's a shame if if that people have been told that being a stay at home mother, all these other things, having children, is is lesser than because it's not. It's just different, and it's not lesser than. So I believe that's wrong too. So I guess can it'd I, be a no. Oh, yeah.